Sometimes when you take a photo, it'll tell you where it's taken. What technology is being used there? Geotagging. So it's geotagging using GPS. GPS. Good. So if it tells you where the photos are taken, that's using GPS to do geotagging. What are we on here? Flickr or Tumblr for your photos, or even Facebook or Twitter. All of those could use geotagging. Okay, I think we'll move on. Right, topic six. A lot of stuff. If someone goes um, online and they take, um, say for example, actually I'll just put it out there. How might identity theft happen? So identity theft is something that happens. Someone's essentially got all your personal details. How does it go about no. doing that? How does someone steal your identity on Oh, I know this. Um, they might look in your bin. Okay, so they might look literally in your bin and take out um, letters. How about online? So how might they get those personal details? Um, Alison? Anna? Uh -huh. They could, but there's something more simple than that. Where would they get your picture from? No. Facebook. Yeah. So say for example, identity theft can happen simply by you having a Facebook account. Because you've got a picture on there. You, some of you have your full name, your date of birth on there, and your city of birth. In some places, that would be enough for you to apply for a job, get an ID at a job company, and then therefore you could go along to get a passport or get other identification for a fake identity. So it's obviously really important that you don't put too much personal information online because you could be susceptible but to yeah, identity. You do, I guess you need, well, you don't actually, no. You need a photo signed by a professional saying that that looks like you. Which you could just forge. Yeah, so it is possible, like, it's possible to get a fake passport. Say, for example, they don't have, um, I guess, um, right, so they don't have um, right of residence, so they're an illegal immigrant, they might get a passport there. And that way, they might go on to commit crimes and stuff like that. They might just want to travel freely around the world. And on some passports you can't do that. So they might steal someone else's identity. Um, okay, in terms of the top right image is um, about WikiLeaks. Can someone explain what WikiLeaks was? Like, what was that all about? Like Julian Assange with his website, posting videos and stuff, is easy. Okay, good. So he took classified documents. In this case, it was a video of um, two Apache helicopters just bombing civilians um, in, I think, Afghanistan. And um, obviously, it's a classified video, so army material. And he's posted it online to say, look, these are the atrocities that are happening outside. So this is a form of what we call citizen journalism. So it's just normal people leaking out information and also publishing this for the world, and I think. Um, so Bradley Manning, who's a guy who apparently allegedly leaked it, um, he allegedly leaked it to WikiLeaks, and he's now in like solitary confinement. Um, what? So, yeah. That's really sad. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite bad, that actually, yeah. What's it's, um, it's where you're in a prison cell about the size of this table, and then you're in complete darkness, you don't get to talk to anyone, and you might get out, let out like half an hour a day or an hour a day. That's a joke. You barely get fed. So yeah, it's a joke. Um, but that aside, because he's kind of like conducted in the form of espionage, he's sold on like US military stuff. But he hasn't sold it, he's just passed it on. Why is he used to go to know? Why does it? Because he's, he's considered a big risk and the Americans are like, well, you want the American military like, well, he's done like a really bad thing, leaking the stuff. But anyway, going back to WikiLeaks, this is like the impact of the internet now. So with the freedom to publish anywhere, anytime, from any place, you're able, anyone's able to publish. However, the government might like censor that. So say for example in like North Korea, in China, in Cuba, in like oppressive regimes, they might censor it as well. So it's kind of like two controls there. Um, the thing on the bottom right, what's what is that? The thing on the bottom right. That is your IP, yeah, your IP address, yeah. So that at the bottom right is your IP address that tells you um, what's well, the address of your computer, and that's how you can get tracked. Um, maybe that's how 
rather than adding that track, so I'm not sure. And this here, this is to symbolize a law. You probably only need to know like two or three laws. So, and this one here, the weight scales, is like symbolizing like justice. What's um, one and law to do with, say, um, obtaining information fairly, legally? What's that act? So obtaining things fairly, lawful. That's not to copyright, no? That's easier. Data protection, yeah. So if you're getting data illegally, then you've broken the Data Protection Act and you could go to prison for that. Um, but there's two exemptions, or two people, or two groups of people don't need to pay any attention to Data Protection Act. Who are they? First group, or first case scenario, would be what? Ella. Who do you think might not be limited to the Data Protection Act? And students still have to be, because like if you stole someone's data, if you like stole my password and hacked my email and sent it around to the whole school yeah. saying like I love China, you've still kind of like broken the Data Protection Act. Um, so Facebook? Police, good. So the police are um, exempt. They're, they don't have to obtain data legally because it's to do with crime prevention. The other group that are exempt are the press. As long as it's something to do with the public interest, if they're reporting about, say, um, I don't know, some a scandal Sir, in, yeah, isn't it illegal to put people that um, that they haven't given their permission on TV? Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah, isn't it against? If it's in the public interest, then no. Yeah. You can't put children on the TV though. That's, yeah, that's against the law. Children. So like that's why their faces are always censored. But they are No, no. By by UK law, you have no right to privacy in a public space. So if you're walking down the street, anyone can photograph you or film you and broadcast it without your permission. Yeah. Because you're in a public area, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're in your house, obviously. Public. Yeah, if well, someone films you while you're inside your house, that's illegal. If, if, you're, if you're in school, that's again private property. They're not allowed to publish it. Even children. Obviously, if you start stalking someone, like say someone's just like outside Malibu and filming you for a long time, then you could call the police because that would be either invasion of privacy or breach of peace. So that'd be like other laws for that. But generally, if you're taking pictures of people at the Olympics and then you're uploading it to, I don't know, like Sony World Photography Competition, you don't have to pay anything to anyone if you win that competition. You don't need to ask permission because they're in a public like, place, public space. Yeah. Um, you know, the copy, can you like explain the difference between copyright and copyright? Yeah, sure. Copyright applies to generally three things so music, film, and images. That's the general things that copyright applies to. So if you copy something like um, downloading this film or pirating some music or a video, that's all copyright. Data Protection Act is how people get your data, how they handle it as well. Um, before I answer your two points, on um, every website they have um, a page which lists how they use your information. What's that called? Privacy. Yeah? A privacy one. Policy, good. So that would say how they use your data. And if they've said that we're going to sell it on to another company, yeah, the privacy policy, if they say they're going to sell your information on, or um, if they say they're going to um, use it for marketing, then that's okay. If they haven't said that and then they sell your data on, they've broken the data protection. But, um, I think Nori had a question, Ellie had a question as well. Yeah, that would be yes. Yeah. So if you've written a film or a play or even a book or a poem, it's automatically copyright. You don't need to register it. If I put something online, like a poem that doesn't quite rhyme and someone copies it, then that's still okay. But, sir, say if you're starting out a new shop and you're just calling it something, think of how hard it would be to come up with something that some shop hasn't already done. <coughs> sure, like, if you had like. There's so many. I don't know, if you Google Madison Designs, how many is there going to be? Like, even if there's one, you can't put it in. You know your name comes up. You could just go about Maddie, though. Okay, you know what's going to be Okay, and then one other yeah. law which is really important for you to know. So we've got the Copyright Design and Patents Act, we've got the Data Protection Act, there's one more. No? Well, it's serious hacking. Good, computer misuse acts. 
That's the third main one we need to learn. Computer misuse act is to do with hacking. So that's literally when you try and um, enter someone else's password, that's computer misuse. I used to try hacking at first. Yes. <laughs> that would be computer misuse act, yeah. Um, very lastly, uh, before we finish there, um, just remind me, the padlock means what? Um, Rebecca, what's the padlock mean on a website? Oh, look, is that secure? It's encrypted, and Hannah, what do you need to unlock something that's encrypted? Yeah. A key. So we're done. Those are like the six topics. Okay, we're going to remember that. Wait, what's that? A copy. A copy. A copy. Computer misuse app. So that's for hacking. If you try and enter someone else's password, or try and gain access to someone else's account, or change stuff, that's computer misuse app. There's three levels of it. The first of all, if you just try and do it, that's a, a low level. Tempting, yeah. Then if you take it one step further, if you have the intent to cause some sort of crime when you're doing it, so you're not just doing it as a joke, but now you want to steal their details or hack their bank account and transfer money, then that is a computer crime.